Hey crew, Miko here with another fabulous crochet sleigh. This time I decided to go with these flirty shoulder length curls using the tried and true Jamaican bounce. I'm also including a three week update, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. First things first, my braiding pattern is cornrows going straight back with a perimeter braid along the sides and the back. I connect the ends of my cornrows and sew down the last tail. My hair is freshly washed and moisturized and I'm going to use the Talia Waheed Restoring Serum to moisturize my scalp. It has bamboo, avocado, and peppermint oil to control itch and it's made specifically for protective styles. All you have to do is oil your scalp with this once a week and it's gonna keep your hair and scalp properly moisturized throughout the life of your style. So I picked up three packs of Jamaican Bounce in the color 1B. You only get one bundle per pack, but three packs is plenty. Now the strands are pretty thick, so I separate each strand into two for the back and make them a little bit smaller as I get to the front. And I always start my installation with the perimeter braid first using the invisible knot method because you guys know I love to pull my hair into updos and the invisible knot method hides the knot. Now of course the invisible knot method is just pulling one strand of hair through the loop instead of two. Now here you can see I'm double knotting, but because of the natural texture of this hair, one knot is sufficient and it holds the crochet in place with no problem. It also makes it easier to remove. Now once I'm done with the perimeter braid, I use the single knot method in the back and then towards the top because it makes the insulation go a lot faster. In the front, I make the strands a little bit smaller and I use the invisible knot method along the hairline and all of my parts because that makes the finished style look a lot more natural and seamless. And the trick to the invisible knot method, you guys, is to insert the crochet needle towards the part so the knot falls on the opposite side. There you go. So 30, 40 minutes later, I'm all done installing the hair. So now I'm just going to cut the hair to frame my face. Now this hair is already short and I don't wanna to cut too much. So you see I'm snipping and fluffing, snipping and fluffing, and I'm just gonna follow that process until I get the desired look. I cut in some layers to give the hair volume and body, and I added some bangs to frame my face and so the front doesn't look too bulky. And this is the finished look, my queens. It is so beautiful. I love the way this hair turned out. And I'm so glad I finally tried it because it was a dream to work with. It took no time to install. I only had to knot it once and there are no slipping knots. And the hair wears so well. It doesn't frizz or mat like crazy. And I know you hear this all the time, but the little bit of frizz that you do see really does make the style look more natural. And so now I'm gonna show you what the hair is looking like. I'm gonna show you what we're working with three weeks in, you guys. It looks fantastic. There's really very little difference in how the hair looks three weeks in compared to day one. So I am super happy with this hair. So now I'm gonna show you some super quick and easy styles that I wear all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna leave all the information below on this hair so you can scoop you up some. And like I said, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit 